Hey guys, what's up? Red Panda Mining here, back with another video. Have some of you who have owned GTX 1060 3GB cards ever mined Ethereum or Ethereum Classic and you got the DAG file error or memory couldn't be loaded error? Say you were using Claymore or Phoenix Miner in Windows or in SMOS or HiveOS for that matter and you just couldn't mine Ethereum or Ethereum Classic. In this video guys I just found out that there is a important vote from the Ethereum Classic team that they ask will you support a reset of the DAG size so that three gigabyte graphic cards can mine Ethereum Classic again? This shocked me because for me I have two rigs that are GTX 1060s and three gigabyte versions. And I am one of the victims of having these cards not being able to mine the uh, Ethereum Classic or Ethereum for that matter. Ethereum will not be touched so I'm not going to bring up Ethereum again so we're just specifically talking about Ethereum Classic. Now I know that Ethereum Classic was pretty profitable back then and I was mining Ethereum Classic with those cards for a while, a good while. Not anymore, obviously, because there's other coins that are profitable than Ethereum Classic. But uh, let me know down in the comments if you guys had a similar situation. And yeah, so let's go to the Twitter, the tweet that uh, I found on the subreddit here on r slash GPU mining. And here it goes to Kimi Sian Yu Chen. And he asks, will you support Ethereum Classic ECIP? dash 1043 fixed DAG limit restriction and of course I already voted yes and as you guys can see there's 73% yes and 27% no and as you can see right now there's 317 votes with four days left but as you guys will see this video the next day there'll be three days left so I will have this this Twitter link um, down in the description so you guys can go vote if you want. I'm not sure how credible this is. I, I just I just saw this now and this Reddit post and I want to make a video on it. And I got some other um, other stuff I want to show you guys. So let's let's read the GitHub of the ECIP 1043. So ECIP 1043 fixed DAG limit restriction. This is for specifically Ethereum Classic, if any of you guys care. So, the abstract. The purpose of this ECIP is to set a limit on the maximum size of the DAG to its initial state and no longer increase on an epoch schedule. I'm going to show you guys epoch schedule uh, after I read all this. The motivation. The original intent of the DAG was to provide ASIC resistance to, uh, to the mining protocol in order to prevent centralization of mining distributions and thereby provide for an objectively fair distribution of tokens. As evident by ASICs being developed that are capable of matching current GPUs while being more efficient, the DAG has failed at its task and now only serves as a deterrent to broader investment in application-specific hardware by competent distributors. Because of this, the increasing DAG has begun to have a negative impact on long-term security and acts as an anti-competitive bug preventing large-scale investment in mining development. As originally discussed in ECIP dash question mark limit DAG growth number six, a constant, constantly increasing DAG will eventually reach a hard limit of bus speed on the GPU memory and forcing GPUs into obsolescence, obsolescence does not provide an increase in security. To the contrary, the smaller DAG size allows for more GPUs the ability to mine while providing a lowered initial entry cost to hobbyist miners. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain that a little bit further, guys, so in case some of you guys don't understand um, the initial entry to cost to hobbyist miners. So what they're talking about are GPUs that have, you know, one gig of memory or two gigabytes of memory. And, you know, there's GTX 1060, uh, 1050s with two gigabytes of memory. 
I don't know of any AMD cards right now that are new that have less than four gigabytes of memory, so that's not nothing to worry about. So what what really this brought up this whole situation is the GTX 1060 three gigabyte cards, and there there have been there have been numerous reports of people complaining about it. I've complained about it, but I haven't really gone online and asked anybody about it. But I know some people in my Discord has asked me about the GTX 1063 gigabytes about two to three months ago when this started happening. Okay, continuing. A five-year vision of the mining landscape would see a transition from the general purpose GPU mining to a broader market of application-specific hardware being built by the current and supported by a diverse group of manufacturers similar to the current GPU market. Okay, so uh, risk. I'm just going to... Skip the specification. I don't think we uh, any we don't know what this means. Epoch DAG equals zero. Uh, so yeah, I guess the epoch is going to wants to be back down to zero instead of it's at right two point nine nine or something right now. Uh, so risks consideration. This ECIP is not forward compatible and introduces backward compatib- incompatibilities in the DAG file generation, block verification, and block mining. Therefore, it should be included in a scheduled hard fork at a certain block number. This is a long-term PRO application-specific hardware proposal. If su- sufficient interest is not gener- generated by manufacturers in the mining field, there is a risk of domination by one or more manufacturers. Market risk. And that's the end of the uh, ECIP 1043 on the GitHub. Okay, guys. Okay. Uh, next up, I'm going to show you the Ethereum Classic hash rate right now. So, for example... You guys know that the I'm gonna show I'm gonna quickly show you the DAG uh, that's currently happened right now. It says it's at uh, Ethereum Classic right now is at 2.99 gigabytes, and the and the um, GTX 1063 gigabytes cannot mine it anymore. And so now this happened around. For me, it happened in around December, January on some of my cards. I was mining I was mining Ethereum Classic with my GTX 1063 gigabytes on SMOS. And it was during that time SMOS wasn't able to handle the cards anymore. It wasn't able to mine Ethereum Classic. So let's take a look at this chart here. If we go back, if we do, uh, yeah, six months. Okay. You guys can see the hash rate up here, November, uh, November fifteenth, November sixteenth, and you can gradually see, depending which version you're using uh, of of your OS, Windows, for example, or uh, Windows, probably the most prominent one. You can see the hash rate is slowly dropping down, and you can see I'm probably around here with my SMOS or people with Hive OS. These are the people that were you weren't able to mine uh, Ethereum anymore with your three gigabyte cards. I'm not saying that it's possible that this contributed contributed to the hash rate dropping because of the epoch. I'm saying that it's possible. So I'm not sure if people are just turning off their miners or just uninterested or also I believe the Ethereum, uh, uh, Ethereum Classic uh, had a 51% attack. And that was the whole thing, but I believe that was in January. So I don't think that's related to the hash rate dropping. But it could be because the price was also going down as well. That could be another thing. Everyone was turning off their miners. But just saying, there's a lot of GTX uh, 1063 gigabytes out there. That could be a possibility. And so as you guys can see now, the hash rate is around, you know, leveled off 8.2 tera hash right now on Ethereum Classic. Okay. Uh, just for context, you guys can see Ethereum and Ethereum Classic have pretty close epochs and DAG sizes right now. So if you have a four gigabyte card, any four gigabyte video card, the epoch will end at around, you won't be able to use it at around December, 2020. So example, there's a GTX, uh, 1050 Ti with four gigabytes of RAM and you won't be able to use a R9 Fury 380X, four gigabyte RAM. Yeah. Um, Okay, so there is an article to kind of back up my claim about what's happening around here. 
the hash rate dropping. Uh, there's this article on twominers.com. Ethereum mining with GTX 1060 3 gigabyte cards stopped mining ETH and ETC. So this was posted around December 21st, 2018. And uh, they just explain what's happening and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna have this link down below. You guys can get a read. I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read through it, but I pretty much explained everything um, beforehand. Uh, why GTX 1060s couldn't be mining anymore. So with that said, I would like to read one comment on the subreddit uh, Ethereum Classic. This this was a discussion posted 10 months ago for the EC, ECIP 1043. So this tweet was not the first time talking about it. They've been talking about this before. So here's the here's the tweet here. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, Reddit post. The logic is very clear. To simply put, the DAG getting big, bigger has failed at preventing ASICs from being affordable, pr affordable, affordable, affordably produced. So now all it does is serve to prevent people with less powerful, uh, sorry, less powerful GPUs to mine. It will continue to do this and make mining increasingly difficult to enter with a lower power GPU thus having the opposite effect of its intended purpose. Furthermore, there is a hard limit on how high it can go before it is, it is bigger than the data throughput of the GPU bus. So eventually, it'll make GPUs obsolete altogether. I can get, I can get behind this proposal. So, um, to finish off, guys, maybe some of you are wondering, what should I be mining with my... GTX 1063 gigabytes right now. Uh, a lot of you are probably mining Raven coin right now. That seems to be the hot coin on the profitability list. And uh, it, there's another coin I think you guys should go check out that I've recently been looking into is Ether1. And Ether1-1 and the short term code is ETHO. And as you guys can see, the DAG size for Ether 1 is 1.49, roughly, right now. So, yeah, you can be mining with uh, your GTX 1060 uh, mining Ether Ether 1. It's an interesting coin you guys can look at. It's I'm not sure if it's profitable, but it uh, has good a lot of good future, future potential. potential. So, and, uh, yeah, take a look. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Uh, what this proposal uh, ECIP 1043 should be implemented or not and give me your thoughts give me your opinions I would like to know I'm sure the the thought the most thoughts are gonna be well screw those guys that have GTX 1063 gigabytes I don't have them so let let the difficulty be low for me and let me mine all the Ethereum classic myself well decentralization is one of the points but let me know what you guys think. I'm I'm neutral to it. I'm I'm not a I'm not a big fan of Ethereum Classic. I just know in terms of profitability, it was one of the profitable ones back in the day. Uh, I'm not 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 anymore right now. But let me know, guys. Please like and subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, I appreciate all of you. I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Have a good one.